Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I will be I will show you how to use cPanel This basically this is a series of useful tutorials about cPanel and this is the first video of this series And so the first video I will start with how to find the login URL of your cPanel if and um, I will teach you some basic functions about password security changing themes and etc and if you because most of the shared hosting um, hosts are using cPanel, except few hosts like SiteGround, which have recently started using their own cPanel own um, own panel. Like um, it is a custom panel because cPanel recently raised their rate, so some hosts are doing that. But most hosts are still on cPanel, and it is very essential to learn the functions of cPanel. So let's start. So the first thing you have to do is if your website domain is already connected to cPanel to log into cPanel what you have to do is just add the cPanel dot in front of your domain name and just press enter and it will take you to the cPanel URL or there is a different way is to enter your domain name like um, I'll enter my other website name smarthookguides.com then add this 2083 port and press enter and this will also take you to the cPanel default login page so basically this is how you can find the login page of your cPanel and in case your domain is still not connected to your hosting server what you have to do is to find the login URL you will have to check the uh, welcome email from your hosting company they it will contain all the details um, username password and the login URL of your cPanel once you have connected your domain to the cPanel you can use this method to log into your cPanel so let me go back to this website and then here logging logging in is very simple just enter your username and password okay so I will log into my cPanel now and depending on your security settings it may ask you for a second factor authentication code so I will just enter that and I would recommend you to also enable this second factor authentication to make your account more secure so okay now you can see I have logged into my cPanel account and basically it will look like this okay and um, if for any reason it doesn't look like this what you can do is um, just check here there will be options of changing the style or uh, so let's try what available see you can see here all the available different styles so basically this is the default theme and this was the old theme of cPanel and most hosting companies are using the base new layout this basic layout so i will just um, i will use this layout for the demo and tutorial so in case it is different you can just go here and change it or you can just scroll down and there will be option of changing the style so here you can also change language password security account preferences so basically this is so if you want to change so if you're logging in for the first time the first thing you have you should do is go to password and security section and change your username and change your old password so it's very simple just enter your old password here and new password here and then change your password click on change password now and it will be changed and the next thing is this account preference so let's see okay let's um it is not very important um we can skip this okay and okay so the next thing which i want to show you is this is the search bar which will be probably be not be available in the old um, interface if you are using that so it's it will be only be available in the new interface so let's uh, enable the second factor authentication let's just search for this two-factor authentication and then click on it you can see it is already available uh, enabled for my account so if I have to you can just it's the it's setting up is very simple just scan the QR code using any other authentication app like Google Authenticator uh, which you can download from Play Store and it is very easy to set up so now let's go back to cPanel 
and here this is the this is all the functions of cPanel and on the right sidebar here you can see your information there's the username and this is the your web hosting IP address this is very important and this is the your server IP address and this is the primary domain connected to your account and this is the home directory where all your files are stored I will cover all these in detailed way in next videos so the, basically this is the introduction video of cPanel and this is the last login IP it so it is very important for security purposes that all your last login IPs are logged in and if you notice uh, any unusual IP here the first thing you should do is just uh, change your password immediately and log out from all the current sessions going on inform the support so make sure that uh, if someone has manage to um, get access to your account they get logged out and by changing password they will not be able to log in again so basically and if you scroll down you will this will be the details of your hosting account you can see my in my hosting accounts there are two add-on domains um, allowed and it is showing 100% and red because I have attached um, connected two domains to with this whole account um, is uh, with the hosting so there are total three domains connected and this is the primary domain and uh, any additional domain is called add-on domains so and this is the MySQL database so you can see 50 are allowed and I'm using four database currently and this is the subdomain subdomain is basically like um, your main domain is example.com the subdomain will can be like um, support.example.com or buy.example.com so basically it will be uh, you can host a different website on the uh, subdomain so like if you have a different um, uh, different kind of CMS platform for support so you can um, host it on a subdomain and this is the file usage you can see this is the limit allowed and this is the current my current usage so it's well within the limit and there's no problem yeah, similarly you can disk usage is very self-explanatory and this is the MySQL disk usage and this is basically the bandwidth allowed and email accounts mailing list and basically these are the details and FTP accounts and this is the, all the allowed limits and if you see if um, you are reaching this limits what you should do is contact support because and ask them for an upgradation you may have to pay um, extra for upgrading your plan because um, if you're hitting the slow limits chances are your website is not working for a lot of visitors and which could mean loss of sales so this is the basic introduction and uh, let's here see uh, this is basically the and this tutorial introduction um, name cheap tuto uh, sorry cpal tutorial will be same for any hosting provider like for me the, like in this tutorial i'm using name cheap and you and this will be the same but there will be a minor differences like this is the exclusive tab for this um, name cheap customers so if you're using hostgator bluehost or any other hosting provider they it will be this section will not be visible there but the rest of the stuff will be pre very same so basically this is the file section um, all the file related um, functions are available here and i will cover that in my next video so make sure to check the link in the description um, and this is the database and this is the domains you can here uh, connect your main domain add on domain subdomains redirects and everything you can set it up here and this is all the emails functions available for you and these are the metrics and these metrics are very important so make sure that you watch this video about the metrics you can use it to analyze all your visitors and most importantly in case your website is getting hacked or it was hacked so you should know how to check logs and um, spot any hacking attempts so basically this is the security section and it, here you can set up SSL certificate um, leech protection hotlink protection and two-factor authentication and this is the software section 
this can be a uh, different for hosting providers because some hosting provider use different kind of automated software installation so but basic function will be very much same and these are the advanced um, jobs and preferences and scripts available you can see this um, name GP using the soft Atlas apps installer your hosting provider may be using some other installer but it will be pretty much same it will just um, the interface may be slightly different you there will be a very slight difference so this will um, so I hope this um, have covered all the functions uh, let's check this option also of the C panel and you can see this um, this is the user manager you can add new user and all that stuff so it's pretty simple and yeah that's it this this is the basic introduction of cpanel and in my next tutorial i will uh, next videos i will cover each of these functions um, properly so you just um, find the link in the description i will link to the whole playlist and i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any feedback please post in the comments i would love to hear your feedback and improve my video my intention is always to create easy to follow tutorials so i will see you in the next video